സമർത്ഥനം Samarthanam was founded in 1997 by three visually challenged young graduates to provide hostel and education facilities to visually impaired girls pursuing the studies after 10th standard so as to help them create a niche for themselves in society the activities for the students include encouragement of learning basic computer education sports cultural activities sponsoring of midday meals to encourage primary education and tutoring services to children of a government school at Hudi Marvel events are important to reach much wider public samarthanam effort to keep these supporters engaged in our activities we have devised very simple schemes this local community involved with samarthanam have not only given their time and expertise many times they have helped create very important linkages of various stakeholders with the organization from the east gram vikas in 1979 a group of student volunteers from chennai founded gram vikas a rural development organization to improve the quality of life of the rural poor in orissa one of their primary tools mantra movement and action network for transformation of rural area helps foster social inclusion of the poor and marginalized actually our mantra program or water and sanitation program it is not about water and sanitation it is a statement in human dignity it is about dignity of the human people and how poor villagers can have an inclusive society one for all and all for one society of hill resource management school self reliant system for the masses is the motto of this society that propagates a revolutionary program called chakriya vikas yojana under this program a one time financial help is given to create self financed grassroots institutions called rashtriya chakriya vikas vidyalay through pooling of land and water resources creating a revenue flow that will support all programs and activities of the village thus making it self reliant its vision is to establish at least 50 such institutions in the emerging state of jharkhand the income generated in the village by generation of the natural resource base in the village is distributed in one is to three is to three is to three sharing basis out of which 10% becomes kalyan kosh which comes to the original corpus of the society 30% is used by the villagers for the village development 30% is distributed among the village partners and 30% is given to the land owners this is a equitable system in which the village becomes self sustaining in course of time by development of the resources and from the west spastic society of india the spastic society of india founded by dr neethu alur in 1972 was the first initiative to alert the nation of the needs of children with cerebral palsy a teacher training college a therapist training program and a skills development unit soon followed the society went on to set up two national level projects the national job development center and the national center for research and training and today after 35 years the society has played a major role in providing resource facilities for people with cerebral palsy in more than 50% of the indian states and union territories it's become sustainable because we have been able to introduce a whole lot of imaginative ways uh, of involving the community of the parents of even people in the slums to come and reach out in in a variety of ways we've also been able to show that money must reach down to the ground level that is important and i think that our integrity in that way is well established and um and our services and all the money does percolate down to the bottom level it's not a kind of a top down thing but it's very much top down bottom up organization there's no top actually i don't believe in any kind of hierarchy especially when you're dealing with suffering fescom it has been the aim of the organization to promote and maintain the dignity and quality of life of senior citizens through various schemes and programs 50% concession in state owned buses 
30% concession in railway fare, 500 rupees monthly pension positively touching the lives of almost 10% of Maharashtra's population that consists of the elderly. We are a federal body with about 1,000 senior citizens associations spread over all over Maharashtra with a membership of 3.5 lakhs. And our source of income is through their ECM subscription. 50% of the subscription comes to us. Plus, we issue several ECM souvenirs. We have got nine regional councils. They also issue souvenirs. And through that also advertisements plus donations. And we have got annual conferences. Through that surpluses also, we get, I mean, our income. And now, now we are sensitizing the corporate bodies also for our financial assistance. So there you have the eight regional finalists for the 2007 India NGO of the Year Award. We've been incredibly impressed by the quality of the entries this year. All eight are winners. Indeed, everybody who participated in the awards this year is a winner. Now let's see who's going to be the India NGO of the Year.